After we were attacked and I was left in a pool of blood, we discovered that the airline, Northwest Airlines, is a CIA FBI affiliate. They had given 6,000 CDs worth of passenger profile information illegally to the FBI and responsible now for the 72 hour waiting list being deemed Ask Big Brother Before You Fly that affects not just minorities, not just the terrorists, but all Americans, including the American citizens who have met their deaths recently at airports within America. I'll get into that shortly. 45-year-old woman whose, ombuds, whose aunt is the Ombudsman of New York, dead. Robert Dzanski, a Polish immigrant, coming to Canada in Vancouver, unable to speak the language, detained for hours on end, and finally attacked as a result, dead. My mother and I, suffering now three years ongoing while police try to abduct and to kill us to censor our online account and exposure of their crimes. Minneapolis airport, there have been two attacks there since. One, to, uh, one in, in March, that was against the six imams, but because they were praying, practicing their religion, and one in September 7th against a 130-pound violinist trying to leave the airport. Brad Wingate, uh, officer, Brad Wingate, the Minneapolis airport police involved in all of those attacks, including the one upon ourselves, the one that left my mother and I attacked myself in a pool of blood, and thereafter we were placed through a trial where they were members and their affiliates of CIA, FBI, and NSA on the jury pool which can be seen in the scannings on my website, aaronjamesstory.com. There have been now 11 attempts upon our lives to prevent uh, hearing from going forward where we can expose what they've been doing, and they've been using the, the, the uh, Minneapolis police who are undergoing a lawsuit right now for KKK affiliations, having sent their own, their own police officers, their own black police, KKK threats sent through interdepartmental email messages having called black and Muslim Congressman Keith Ellison a terrorist. That's one Robert Kroll who walks about with a white power badge on his vest. Are trying to work with the Winnipeg police who have been exposed with the Human Rights Commission report for blatant attacks and brutality uh, against blacks and natives outside of the city perimeter, brutality, beatings, tasings, rapings, and whatnot that have gone unaccounted for until recently and systemic corruption within the Canadian law enforcement report by Tamara King of the Canadian press. All of this is the background and Northwest Airlines and Minneapolis Airport, again with the CIA, with the illegal release of 6,000 CDs to the, uh, to the FBI that have targeted not just minorities, not just the quote unquote terrorists, but have victimized the, Amer the, the average American citizen now in many ways are responsible. And this racist CARE 11 TV station that was one of the first to tout the false rhetoric from the Minneapolis police uh, as they've been trying to hide, our, hide their crimes. Meanwhile, media government aligned censorship hides the fact that there have been 11 attempts upon our lives to censor our material. See, the U.S. government is trying to kidnap us using false doctrine. The Bush now claims the right to kidnap a foreign citizen off of foreign soil, uh, even if they had not committed a crime. Regardless, in a breach of the laws of, uh, in breach of international law, international uh, legislation, because the United States is not a civilized country, and the United States citizens are beginning to realize that. Well, when this media, CARE 11, was one of the media out of the many, and there were 42 online counts towards our uh, character assassination and defamation to try to hide this. First, they tried to attack the person, and they tried to attack what the person says trivialize, marginalize them by attacking the person's character. Well, this, this CARE 11 station uh, is going to try to tell you that uh, this pioneer profiling project that was developed at Minneapolis Airport is to, is, to tar is to target terrorists. Take a look at Between the Lines. There's a reason that they had this airport profiling project first initiated at this particular airport. Again, with 21 blacks to one white imprisoned in, within the Hennepin County Judiciary, Minneapolis, where, crime and, where the Council on Crime and Justice has deemed the Hennepin judiciary corrupt with, I'll quote you, quote, collusion and corruption between prosecution and judges to the effect of targeting the blacks, 
minorities, victims of police brutality, which can include the common American citizen now with habeas corpus uh, uh, re removed with the Security Commissions Act. The brutalities and the beatings are now constantly coming in. Uh, again, they're going to try to tell you this is all very much uh, happenstance. Well, with that statistics of 21 blacks to one whites to one white in prison, with the highest Somali population, which is a Muslim sect, in all of the United States, in Minneapolis, you might ask yourself again what this quote unquote behavior profiling program is really about. And you must, and you would realize then at that point that there is a hidden agenda behind it. But again, the problem is that one, that what, what, what affects the least of us affects the most of us. The draconian measures that you're about to see imposed here are going to be targeting not only, and have not target, have targeted not only the quote unquote terrorists that they've manufactured for their fall in order that they can, that they can uh, exude their false grip hold and remove the rights and liberties of all of us. They're not going to be targeting just the quote unquote terrorists that they've manufactured uh, in the minds of the Americans, just like the days of McCarthy when there was a communist under every bed. They're going to be targeting people like myself, like my mother and I, like you. They're going to be deaths, they're going to be casualties, just as they are over in the Middle East where they killed 20,000 Afghans in the first month and they profit off of the oil and the corruption with Cheney and, and Georgia and Afghanistan and Iran, Cheney's oil pipeline, the IMF, the National Monetary Fund and the World Bank capitalizing off of oil profits at the expense of lives and carnage in the East. It's going to be making, and it already has made itself its way along into the United States and to Canada, and it's going to be getting worse unless people take an active measure to stop it. And so this is what we're doing.